Uh, Derek, you're unbeaten this year. You must be doing something, right? Yeah, we're just working hard. I think that's the ethos that most other teams are doing as well. We're just working very hard and pretty together and unified, if you like. But uh, that's all we're really doing. There's no real secret to it. I think, you know, Cork have 51 Monster Championships. They have 30 All-Irelands where there's a sparse next to that. So it's just, we just have a hunger to try and do our best and we're trying to improve every day we go out, you know. A lot of people worried how you would cope with the loss of Porig Mahoney, but Morris Shanahan stepped up with 1-9 today. Yeah, and that's what you'd expect, I suppose. Look, there was probably a lot of scrutiny beforehand in terms of so we were just as I said he probably would have been in good company if he'd missed a couple because you know well known free takers have missed a couple over the last few weeks so you know, we'd have every faith in him and I'm delighted for Morris himself personally you know it's great it's great to see him playing so well and you know a year's a long time in sport. It took you a while to grow into the game I suppose but once you did you know the goal is obviously vital and then there's a lot of composure and calmness and you've got a few young players in that team. Yeah very young like obviously we actually felt that the first 10-15 minutes would be would be quite difficult in terms of Obviously, the way we're playing, we felt Cork might put up, push up on us, and you know things like Mark Ellis getting a point where you know obviously Cork were pushing up, and it looked like their game plan was working, if you like. But I think we settled into it midway through the first half, if you like, and the game seemed to take off for, for us from their space, seemed to open up in behind, you know. So we were glad we could have been another. We were, we were thinking we could have been another four or five points up at half time, but look, we're just delighted to be in a monster final. It's a great progress for us, and um, you know we've worked very hard to be there, and and you know we're. Our summer is set up, if you like, and it's up to us now to go and grab it, you know. And of course, a nervous finish potentially, but again, there was a calmness there. Yeah, look, I think you're dealing with a, 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 you know, a level of intelligence, not that it wasn't previously there much, but very, very steady lads, you know, there was no, there's no case of, you know, people probably analysing the, in the, in the run-up to the game in terms of the difference in league and championship, etc. And, you know, it's, it's very difficult to re-motivate a team for five weeks down the line when we were actually carrying, you know, we were saying that the league was everything to us and it was, but, you know, it's, the boys have done a great job themselves and just being, they're just steady lads, you know, good family backgrounds and, and um, you know, a nice lads, so pleasure to work with them, I have to say. And back-to-back -back wins over Cork, it's a nice way to be going into a Munster final. It is, but look, you, look, you know, who will want to meet Cork in the qualifiers and the, the, the minefield that is the qualifiers, you know, and look, we, we, we look forward to going to Limerick in two weeks' time to watching the semi-final, but look, we can learn a lot from Cork in terms of the, the manner of uh, uh, the management carried themselves, etc. Like, so we're, we're, we're just learning the whole time as a management of players and we're just keen to learn for the next day as well. Congratulations, Eric. Thank you, Claire. Thank you. Okay, well, it's Derek McGrath with Claire and, and Liam. He, he can do no wrong at the moment with this group. No, he can't, and he doesn't put a foot wrong in an interview either. No, he says no. all the right things. In fairness to him, but uh, no, he's very calculated, very good. And I mean, he's drawn on the fact that like he's got this crop, and like you know, he made some hard decisions at the start of this year. You know, some of the older brigade that maybe people fed it given sterling service to Waterford over the last number of years and he said no I'm going youth I'm going with the, with the young guys and they've come on board they've really bought into him I see Kevin Moran talking on, on the paper during the week where you know they meet each other in school they don't talk about hurling but I'll tell you one thing he's fully bought into what Derek McGrath is trying to do it's, it's uh, I tell you there's some steam train coming in Waterford Absolutely. at the moment they'll be talking about hurling tonight for sure